So today we're checking out Fauna Burn Neo, and of course Fauna Burn Neo is a very cool emulator which strives for accuracy in emulating your Neo Geo games. I'm also going to be going through images so we can actually pimp out how Fauna Burn Neo interface looks with icon images. I'm going to be going through all sorts including controller configurations. So if you want Neo Geo and a very good emulation experience, check this one out. <laughs> Okay now, before I start today's Final Burn Neo setup guide from Windows, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I upload on my channel, Just Jamie, every day. So we're looking at the latest and greatest version of Final Burn Neo today. A little while back, I covered Final Burn Alpha, but then I thought to myself, let's actually do the most recent version of this. So what we're going to do is look at the Neo version, and what we're going to do is head over to this github page and from here we can download the latest version which was actually released yesterday from recording this video so we got two versions for windows here we got windows times 32 or we got windows times 64 now both of these versions are for two different types of computer so to find out which version you need i'm running a 64 bit easiest way to do this is if you open up a search bar and just type in system information and under system type should tell you here what type of computer you're running so in my case as we can see I've got a times 64 base computer so if yours should say a 32 bit then you download the 32 dot zip version I'm going to download the 64 bit okay then so once you've downloaded the version which is suitable for your computer you're going to download yourself a zip folder if we just open this up we're going to find a few different files in here what we need to do is actually extract these files into a new folder because when we open up final burn neo it's going to create a lot of folders and you don't want these all over your desktop so on your desktop just right click new folder i'm going to title this new folder f B N Final Burn Neo. So if I just highlight all of these files and just drag them into that FBN folder I've just created. Okay, so once they're copied inside, we can now delete that zip folder. We no longer need this one. And I'm going to go into that FBN folder I've just created and just drag in some games. So I've got a folder here full of Neo Geo games. What I'm going to do is just drag that into that FBN folder so everything's in the same folder. And just remember that for Neo Geo games, we do need BIOS, and your BIOS is named Neo Geo.zip. You don't need to extract this one. If we open it up, there's lots of different files inside. But like I say, we don't need to extract it. So just drag your BIOS inside of that FBN folder. Okay, so let's open up the program. So I'm going to open up FB Neo 64. If I double left click on this one, Windows protected your PC. If you get this come up, just left click on more info and then just left click on run anyway. Okay, so get a little license agreement just here. You can press OK on this. And just check I understand and agree to be banned by terms of the above license agreement and OK. And now it says scanning for ROMs. Just let this do a spin. Okay, so we are now into Final Burn Neo. This is the main interface. So what I'm going to suggest doing is go into your ROMs folder and inside here we're going to find lots of different folders just here. So this is all the systems that Final Burn Neo covers. Okay, so let's just close down Final Burn Neo. What I'm going to do, I've got my games in that Neo Geo folder. So I'm going to copy and paste everything. So what I'm doing is pressing Ctrl and A to highlight everything and I'm going to go to copy and i'm going to go back into that roms folder 
And from here, I'm going to open up the arcades folder, right click and paste. Now my Neo Geo games are now pasted into that folder. Now if I come back out and open up FB Neo, I'm gonna to go to game, load game. I'm just gonna click on ROMs directories just here. Is on path one, go to browse. And now I'm gonna locate that folder where I've just put my Neo Geo games. So I'm gonna to go to my FBN folder and my ROMs folder and I'm going to just left click on Arcade go to OK and OK and now it's going to be scanning the ROMs which I've just put into that folder Okay, and now under a select game, we can see I've got all these games here. So let's just open up one of these. Okay, so everything's working fine and we now got the list of Neo Geo games within Final Burn Neo, but my controller isn't working. So what we're going to need to do from here is go over to Input. We're going to go to Map Game Inputs and we're just going to go down to this little section and just left click on Player 1. And where it says Keyboard, what I'm going to do is go to Joystick 0. Now, under the Game Input section, what I need to do is map these out to my Xbox controller. So if I double left click and press a button on my Xbox controller, we can now see this has come up. So I've used the select button or those two weird square buttons on my Xbox controller. And for P1 start, I'm going to press on my Xbox controller those three horizontal lines. And you can map this out to however you want. Uh, just remember, it's very important to map out all the main buttons that would be on a Neo Geo controller. And there's quite a few there to map out, for player one at least. So I'm also going to go to P1 Select, and I'm going to map this out too. Okay, so once we've done this, I'm going to go to Save Preset, and that's now generated our configuration for the controller that we just mapped out. If I go to OK, Okay, my controller is now working. Okay, so next up, I'm going to show you how to make it look a little bit nicer. That's the Final Burn Neo interface. So, for example, if I go to Game, Loads Game, we got the games here, but just above it, we got Preview and we got Title, and both of these are empty, but we can actually uh, make this look a lot nicer. If we go over to this website, you'll be able to find these packs just here. So, we got Preview Packs, uh, Flyers, Icon Packs. So, I followed downloaded these and loaded them uh, you're likely to get archive folders if we look inside the icons folder for example we're going to find the icons folder if we just drag this one out and once you've extracted icons what we're going to do next is just delete the icons archive so just right click and delete and then we're going to go into the final burn neo folder where everything is helped and we're going to go to support folder 
and from here you're going to find an icons folder and what we're going to do is use that icons folder and we're going to copy and paste all of those icons into that support icons folder so there's 3100 of these in total and this is the latest pack if we close out of there and as we can see we now got all the icons in the support folder icons folder and if we come out again we're going to find a flyers folder and again i've downloaded the pack and i've got it here which is flyers if i just drag this out onto the desktop again for now and if I open up that flyers folder and just left click on one of these images, control and A to highlight everything, and then drag or just paste these 603 flyer images into that folder. And just make sure that one's in and it is. And if we come back out and again, just delete these as you go. So delete that flyers archive. And finally, we've got the previews pack. So again, in your support folder, we got a previews folder. And I'm gonna drag that previews folder out of that archive. Okay, so your previews is now extracted. So again, just delete the archive, open up the previews folder and left click control and a together so everything's highlighted and just drag those into your support previews folder As we can see, that's now copied into that support previews folder. So again, just delete the archive. Then if we go to open up FB Neo again, let's go to game, load game. And if we click on one of our games now, we'll see that under preview, we've actually got the artwork, but we can get titles for this as well. And just literally do the same again. So drag your title folder out of that archive. And go support folder. And we're going to just go down until we find titles. And that's titles done so just open up titles again and of course we're going to just control and a to highlight everything and drag all of those dot png images into that support titles folder and that's now copied so let's go back to open up FB Neo again. This game, loads game, and we'll now find under title as well as preview, we've got images on both sides. And we also got the icons installed as well now. So, what we're going to do to enable this is just cancel out of this. So, if we go to MISC icons, enable driver icons display. And you'll find that this freezes after you've enabled icons so just leave this for a few seconds and we're going to go back to game loads game and you'll now see under select game each one of your neo geo games is going to have an icon and you can actually enlarge these so if we go back to misc again icons icon size and we're going to put this to 32 by 32 pixels and if we go back to game, load game, you'll see that your icons have now enlarged. Pretty cool. And we've also got the flyers. So if we go to game info, and if we go along the top just there, the flyer, 
you'll then get your flyer display for each game. So check this out again on something random. If uh, Metal Slug Super Vehicle game info, uh, we go back over to flyer and there you go, there's your original flyer for that game. And of course, there's lots of other things you can drag and add into that support folder. I've just covered a few of them, but for example, uh, the, the original cabinet images, uh, marquees, that type of thing, and control PCB images you can put in. Okay, so next up, we're going to look at video settings. So if we just can now, it was in Windows modes just now when we was playing that game. So to make video settings a little bit better, if we go to video, select blitter we got different backends just here to use by default this is going to be on direct draw 7 soft fx uh, you can play around to a direct text just here but as one of them says experimental it might potentially break your game or make your game crash if we go to blitter options we got lots of different filters here to use uh, scan lines should be here somewhere so let's actually boot up a game. We can actually do this as we're playing a game. So game, loads game, and I'm gonna just go for Aero Fighters 2 again, so. So if we go back to video, we can then play around these settings. So blitter options, if I put this on something like two times BR around it. You'll find that particularly the explosions just here become more rounded and they're not so pixelated. If we go to video again, blitter options, uh, CRT, fast forward. You'll then see the scan lights like an old style TV. Uh, you also got the opportunity here to turn this into full screen mode and it says Alt plus enter. So you can either left click to enter full screen mode from here or you can press Alt and enter once you're in the game and that will take you into full screen mode. Now if we go down to enable VSync, what this means is that screen tear will go away if you enable VSync. We also got enable triple buffering. We can also save in load state. So if we go to game, we got save states, save state, and I'm gonna just leave this save state file with Sonic WI2.fs. If I save, and to load back where I just saved it from again, go to game, save states, load state. And just here is my save file. So if I just left click to highlight that in open. That's it for today's Final Burn Neo setup guide. I've showed you the main things to get Final Burn Neo looking nice with all the artwork that type of thing. I've also showed you how to set up your controller and how to set up your ROMs directory for your Neo Geo collection. Anyways, like I said at the start of the video, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Thank <laughs> you.